is all the talk of a recession freaking you out? Well, you should. You know, there's a lot of data that's out there that's showing that, hey, you know what? The economy is probably getting into a bad spot. There are articles that are saying, do not retire right the second. Well, let's look at some options for you. Maybe you still want to retire. Hey, it's Eric with Jazz Wealth Managers, where we don't just invest your dough, we like to educate you on your dough. Let's talk a little bit about retiring during a recession. Now, it can get dangerous. It can get sticky. Uh, we're looking at like the economy right this second. We had a couple quarters of uh, declining GDP, which is a rule of thumb for a recession, but come to find out, there's a lot of other stuff that they look at. You know, they're telling us that now it wasn't a recession, um, but at the same time, when we're looking at everything going on as the Fed continues to raise the rates, there's some risk that's out there. And so if you're wanting to retire during this time, I can understand, you know, the chest pain you're probably probably feeling. And I want to show you some things that we've really talked through with clients and to help you as well and to make sure that you're making the right decisions for your dough. So with that being said, let's first take a look at some some of what's going on in the economy versus what we have seen historically. So if we're looking right here, the S&P 500 versus the Fed fund rate. Uh, so a lot of concern that is out there is along the lines of, hey, well, as the Fed continues to raise the rates, the stock market is going to continue to fall. But if you look right here at this chart, that is not always the case. Instead, uh, in the 1980s, the Fed was very aggressive because it was a bit of a duplicate time. We had a very high inflation. The Fed started getting super aggressive and raising the rates. And so if we're looking right here, the orange line is where we're looking at the Fed rate. So if you look even going into the recession right here in the orange line right there, as the Fed is raising the rate, that is where the rates are actually, the stock market is going up and the rate is going up. And then as the Fed lowers the rate, it actually goes down. So quite uh, the opposite of what a lot of people are talking about there. So it's just something to really look at. And again, coming out of this recession, we still continue to see the market uh, increase as well as the Fed rate was increasing and the Fed rate actually shot way up right there. So let's hope that we're not going to see that. But that's just one take at this because the fact is you've got to really understand where we're at, what's going on, and what his history told us to be able to make the right decision for your dough. Now, a big thing though is you don't want to just jump out of the markets. I We've, we've hit the, on this so many different times but it's really the truth. And I'll tell you exactly why in a minute, and I'll share a little bit of what I wanna talk about, but I just wanna show you the charts. This is what we're looking at right this second. Now, the market has continued to fall. If you get out of the market right here, the question is, well, when do you get back in? We've seen multiple days here recently where it's really the seesaw effect. We've had the markets go jump up, we've had the markets jump down. At some point though, the seesaw is not gonna be at the playground anymore. And instead, the market's gonna continue to rise. And if you have tried to jump in and jump out at different times, you're gonna be left behind. You're gonna be sitting there on the mulch in the playground because the seesaw is gone. <laughs> so be careful with that one for sure. Now, the biggest thing here though, is if you are going to retire, during a recession or during this volatile market, the down market. Here's one thing that I've really talked with clients about. I'll give you an example as well. Uh, having short and long-term money, short-term conservative money, long-term to be able to recapture the growth. The way I wanna show you this and talk to you about this is, I just was speaking with somebody recently, we were doing some financial planning, and this person was going to be transferring quite a bit of money over to us, but we were also going to be leaving a little bit in their 401k. The reason for that was they're not quite 59 and a half years old yet. They're going to need this money in their 401k because they can access that with the rule of 55. Now, you can also do, we could roll it all over and have the rule of 72, but the problem with the, or the 72T rule, the problem with that one though, is uh, somebody that I just mentioned recently, I'd talked to on the phone, was their advisor was trying to do that, is that it sets you in a locked period and you have to take a certain amount out. We don't wanna do that, especially not in a market downturn. So instead, with this client, what we're doing, we're going to put some of their 401k money that's very short-term money, a little bit more conservative, while we're going to invest to recapture the upside as the market does start to rebound. We don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but if we're not preparing for it and setting everything up the right way, it's gonna be a big hit towards the retirement plan for this client. 
And so make sure you have that. Have a little short-term bucket right here. Have your long-term bucket so then you can go ahead and uh, retire and enjoy your life. Now, another one we want to talk about is take advantage of the downturn. Don't let it take advantage of you. So here's the big issue that comes into play when it's happening with a downturn in a market. You have these people that come out of the woodworks that want to sell you on fear. And when the market's going down, there's nothing more than you want to do than can stop seeing your money go down. Well, what if I told you, well, hey, you know what? We've got some products that are out here that will put you in, into a different spot. Your money will never go down again. That's what they want to sell you on is the fear of that. The danger with that is oftentimes these products lock your money up for quite a few years. If you want to get out of them, there's going to be a massive penalty. And so if you jump in when we're at a market low into these super conservative products, what's going to end up happening is you're actually going to miss all of this upswing because you're locked up over here in this product. So make sure you're not doing that. That is not the time to be doing that. Another one we want to talk about is tax loss harvesting, Roth harvesting, Roth conversions, different things like that that you're able to take advantage of. Man, if I could talk today in this market. So make sure that you are looking at all of these options. Don't just sit there and let it take advantage of you. Another one that I'm seeing a client actually do right this second, going to retire, they're going to keep their income low for their healthcare purposes. Healthcare during retirement years gets quite expensive. Well, the Affordable Care Act has all these options that are out there. If you're retiring before Medicare years, you probably are going to be going to the health marketplace to get your insurance. With that said, a lot of it is driven based on your income. So if you're able to keep your income extremely low, that's going to save you an extensive amount of money, allowing you to potentially still retire even during a recession because you're going to keep your income low and that's going to decrease a lot of your costs when it comes to health care. So from there, delay the reward just a little bit. I'm not telling you to, to, to not delay it all to get, or to never take it, but just delay the reward. What I mean by that is so many people want to go on these massive vacations when they retire and they've planned for it. They say, hey, you know what? When I retire, I'm going to, you know, I, I don't know, some, some fancy place on the water, you know, Tahiti. What is it, all these places, the Tahiti huts, whatever the case is, I don't know. But Whatever that is, or I saw a client recently, they were wanting to uh, make a massive purchase of something, a dream car they wanted to get. And we talked about this and we looked at it and we said, look, this could be detrimental to the plan if you do it right now. But at the same time, we can build this into the plan as the market continues to recover. That's the time to buy this. Don't buy it when the money's way down and you need to pull all of this money out. Also, again, think about that with healthcare because if healthcare is one of those that's going to be linked in and you are actually going to have a higher cost in healthcare when you spend more money, be careful and strategic on how you do these things going into the retirement. From there, have a plan. The plan is the biggest thing. Do not make the mistake of retiring without a financial plan because the fact is, is that we can go through all of these numbers, we can talk to you about this kind of stuff, and that's exactly what we're doing, helping clients retire in this volatile market is developing a plan and making sure, hey, if you can make it now, we can even stress test that plan and say, well, what if the market takes another downturn, maybe another 10 or 20%. You know, you've got people over here that are the bulls and they're saying the market's gonna rebound, we're all good. You have the bears that are saying the market's gonna continue to fall. So this is all stuff we can look at and take both approaches to actually tell you what is gonna be best for your dough. So make sure you're being careful out there, not getting taken advantage of, and doing what's right for the dough. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more FinTips videos, click here. Be sure to like and subscribe also.